Thank you so much for joining this lesson. We shall be discussing statistics too. Look at number 15. The deviation from the mean of sample shoe sizes for 10 pairs are negative 3, negative 2, negative 5, 0, 2, 1, 2, 0, M, and 3. Given that the mean size is 45, calculate the quartile deviation of the shoe sizes. Something that you're supposed to understand here before you subscribe to this channel is that the summation of all the deviations usually equal to zero. All deviations from the mean must add up to zero. So negative three, negative two, negative five, zero, two, one, two, zero, M, and three, all of them must give us a zero. So through this, we can find the value of M. Through this, we can conclude that M is equivalent to, so I take negative three, negative two, negative five, then we have a zero, a positive two, a positive one, a positive two once again, and a positive three. So I'm getting negative two, but I have to take them to the right hand side, whereby M becomes positive two. So the value of M is a positive two. Now that we have all the deviations, this is a two now, we've calculated it. Now that we have all the deviations, then we are supposed to know that the shoe sizes themselves can be found simply because we know that deviations are usually given by each size or each value minus the mean. How each value varies from the mean. And from this, we can still conclude something here that we can get the shoe sizes because we need to take now the deviations and we add the mean. So every deviation from the mean will give us the shoe size. So the shoe sizes now, which is the values of x, are going to be negative 3 plus 45. So the first one is 42. Negative 2 plus 45. This is 43. The next is a negative 5 plus 45, giving us a 40. The next is a 0 plus 45. Uh-huh. 2 plus 45. 1 plus 45. 2 plus 45. Uh-huh. 0 plus 45. Then 2 plus 45 and finally 3 plus 45, which is 48. So these are now the values of the shoe sizes according to the deviations and the mean. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 10 pairs of shoe sizes. So with this, and we want to calculate the quartile deviation, with, we are supposed to arrange the shoe sizes we are supposed to arrange them. Okay.
to arrange them in what you call ascending order. Good to arrange them in ascending order. So the smallest shoe size, uh, according to these, we're going to have, I think, 14. Do we have 41? Not really. So we can go to, after 40, we can go to 42s. Then after 42, we can talk about 43. Then after 43, we can have no 44, so we can go to 45. And another 45. Yeah, so 45s are two. Uh-huh, then 46, yeah. Then 47s, one, two, three. 47, 47, 47, and finally 48. So we have them in ascending order. We have them in ascending order, all of them. So let's now find what you are calling quartal deviation. The first thing that you're supposed to do is to get the median. Always good to get the median. So the first value, the last one, until we reach at the, the middle one. Mm -hmm. Now at the center, we have two values, 46 and 45. So the median shall be a value between 45 and 46 because there are two of them. That will be 45.5. Now, something that we're supposed to know is that the mean, or the median, sorry, the median has divided the set of data into two, such that now we have a lower set of data and an upper set of data. So from this lower set, there is the upper set of the data. From the lower set of the data, we can get the median. Median for the lower set of the data, and that becomes Q1, lower quartile. So one, one, two, two. So whatever is at the mid in the lower set, this one we shall call it Q1, lower quartile, which is 43. Then for the upper set, we also identify the median. We cancel one and one from the end, one and one again, we are getting 47. This one, we'll call it the Q3, the upper quartile, 47. So now that we have identified the lower and the upper quartile, we can get first what we call interquartile range. And after that, we go to the semi-interquartile range, which is also called the quartile deviation. So now I'll be having the quartile deviation as upper quartile minus lower quartile divided by two. Upper quartile minus lower quartile is interquartile range, but when we divide by two, it becomes semi-interquartile range. So now 47 minus 43, giving us four, then over two, this will give us exactly two. So the quartile deviation for this particular set of data is just to remember to enroll to our program here, August holiday, whereby we are going to empower candidates and form threes and form twos during the holiday. Please enroll. Our number is attached. We're going to have the three sciences, mathematics, and the languages. Please enroll and get the best. Thank you so much. Subscribe to our platform.